Welcome back, everyone. It's that time of the week again. I'm sorry I wasn't there last week. It was just like the headache persisted, and I, I just I just couldn't do it. I felt really fucking bad about it. But we're here. Started right at 11:30 on the dot for me. Like I just like as soon as it hit 11:30, I hit start stream. I was freaking ready. I miss playing this on for the stream. Um, 15 people already here. I really appreciate that right off the bat. A lot of people in chat. Well, it's mainly Caden saying I hate him, which I don't. Why would I hate? I, who? Why? <laughs> I. I doesn't make any sense. Rip Jeff Burton. I don't even know how. Huh? But JC, I just I saw your. You did. You tipped me a dollar, on the on. With PayPal. Thank you so much, JC. I appreciate that. Will it come up if I bring up stream labels here? Let me see if this will do it. There we go. <laughs> Big fat wieners. I love you. Hi. What, what kind of what kind of message is that? You mean winners? Well, hi, JC. I. <laughs> That's the it's a weird message, but thank you for a dollar nonetheless. Um, but Christopher Fry's right, smash that like button. I will say, I um, if this stream somehow gets to fifty likes, we will do a live Kurt Busch like race win car like review. I'll get I'll get on full screen and then we'll like do that. Devin Clark. Hey, Devin Clark's being a member for seven months straight. Ah! Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Woot woot, seven months. Thanks for all the great content. What if I've been going through hell the last few months and your content meant a lot for me? That means a lot. That really means a fucking lot to hear that. Thank you so much. That's really nice of you to say. I really appreciate it. Um, that's... I don't even know what to say. That's uh, that's really... I'm glad to hear that. There's times where I record stuff and I just don't know if people are going to like it. And the fact that, uh, you know, anyone out there if is that much... Like, it improves their day just by watching my videos. That means a lot. So... I really appreciate that, Devin. Thanks for being a member for seven months and sticking around. And uh, thank you for the kind words, too. Can you show the trucks in this game real quick? Uh, I guess so. I don't know why I would, though. But, um, yeah, there's, I, I mean, there's not any new paint schemes or anything. Um, even if there was, like, usually I would have to kind of, like, re-download, like, the mod... So I don't think that's the case, but I don't know what you want me to look at. Oh, damn. Rip Bobby East. Tragic situation, their folded hands, light skin tone. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that uh, a couple days ago. That really sucks. I, um, because I heard he, he just got stabbed at a convenience store, and it's just like... That's fucking awful. I don't know if he was, like, trying to, like, be a hero and, like, try to stop the person from maybe robbing the convenience store. I don't know what the hell has happened, but that's really sad. It sucks to hear. It sucks with any, you know, race you know, race car driver in any of the main, you know, series or anyone that... I mean, I, I have vague memories of him, but, like, you know, it still sucks, you know, especially in the circumstance he did. So I, I, I agree. Thank you, Epileptic Bumblebee, for the $2 Super Chat. I really do appreciate that. If you like, you get. I uh, you could send me a DM on Discord. You know. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, just uh, just I'll probably get back to you after my stream or after the race because I'm gonna be busy almost all day. But I will definitely get back to your message. But yeah, if you want to talk, uh, uh, by all means, you know, you know the people that support me and do all this nice stuff, you know, I I'm in debt to you, so if, you know, that's you know, no but no big no biggie. Um, uh, he was getting gas and was a coast. Ah, that sucks. I feel bad. 
I feel bad. That, that whole situation sucks. But yeah, um, thanks for all the awesome content. Love the NASCAR rate. Yeah, NASCAR rate's been a blast. I, 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 I kind of, I kind of hated recording it. And I, I don't know. Now that I'm in the Cup Series, it's just really fun, in a weird, goofy way. Also, uh, a couple weeks ago, I got myself a uh, a Seagate uh, hard drive. It's a two terabyte one. This was on sale. I don't know why it was on sale, but it was on sale. And I needed it because um, I'm saving my NASCAR videos. Hope this helps in some way today. I would love to eventually see you do a Haruka Tenu thing I've suggested in the past on Discord. Cold sweat <laughs> smile. <laughs> oh, our Akbar fan. Thank you so much, man. Helps help some way today. Oh, it... Any, any little bit like that helps. It, it helps a lot and, and means a lot. And just goes a long way. So that 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 does help. Thank you so much. And you're a Patreon person too, so you, you're going above and beyond. So thank thank you so much. I'll just see you eventually do a Haruku Tenor thing. I could maybe do like a... Uh, like a Thunder Oath 4. Like stream where like I create a scheme and then like have my driver's name be that. I don't know. I'm always up for the weeb the the weeb mobile idea. I don't know. But yeah, I got the uh, the the two terabyte uh, hard drive because I was um, I'm just running out of space on my computer and and I wanted to like re-download my NASCAR weight stuff because I want to do like a compilation. I want to start doing those more often because when I did NASCAR Thunder o o three and NASCAR o seven. They actually went really they, they went really well. So like in terms of views, so I was like the compilations might be my my thing, just kind of splicing together some like funny bits. They kind of do is like maybe maybe I'll do like uh, like you know here's season one funny moments, or maybe I can combine season one two because the modifieds I don't think anything happened, but I can combine like season one and two, and then kind of you know each video will be like its own like you know best moments for like that season and then like when it's all done it'll be like a one big giant like super cut that's like probably four hours long i don't know it's an idea um i'm at the point where i should just start trying different things and that's one of them and so i'm just re-downloading them because you know whenever i finish uh whenever i finish um you know like a part or when it's uploaded i just delete it because I just try to save space on my computer because it takes up a lot of gigs. Just, um, yeah, it just takes up a lot of gigs. Just like for the game capture stuff, that's like for like an hour, it's like five gigs. Face cam's like five gigs roughly, and then like the audio is maybe like a gig. So that's already like eleven gigabytes there, just on that. And then it has to download the raw video, and that's like you know the early you know I have to edit it and video, and it's like it's like thirteen, fourteen gigs just on a video alone. So you know, obviously removing getting rid of that stuff saves a lot of space so yeah but anyways i don't want to keep talking too much we came to race so let's do that today obviously you saw in the thumbnail we're racing as jeff burton i was trying to think of what car to race as for this track and burton's like the only one i think of yeah so yeah. the only thing i could think of was like jeff Going with Jeff Byrne makes the most sense. I mean, he was really good at New Hampshire. And even all the way to his, like, last year in 2013, I remember he that was, like, one of the only races he actually ran good at. <laughs> but, yeah, he had a really good streak from, like, 97 to 2000 where he won, I believe, three out of the eight races at that track. It was, like, a pretty decent record. And obviously the same person that led all the laps at Daytona in 2000. So That was boring, but the only good thing that came out of it was the his, you know... Uh, a history record, but I don't know. It was a wild, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, go with Jeff Burton. I wish there was the '99 X side car because I would definitely go with that, but uh, I it's just not here. And yeah, uh, if only I had the X side car. So we're gonna go with Burton. Four out of the eight. Damn it, I got it wrong. I was close. Thank you, Bumblebee, for the stat check. Uh, I have not played NR Thunder. Or I'm just uh, not interested in playing it. Uh, 
97, 98, 99, okay. Yeah, he went on a... Uh, a streak of winning there for the next, uh, for like four seasons. So that's, you know, that's the only, one of the only few things I remember minus the fatalities at the track. So that's why we're going with him. But we're going to talk about the race setting because I messed with this a little bit off camera just to get a good feel for it. Um, let's see. Yeah, so 105 difficulty. Uh, full damage race length, obviously 100%. We're going to go with... Uh, more grip for the tire fall off because the AI always have a lot of extra tire grip. So, yeah, we're gonna go with that. Strict yellows because the yellows actually don't come out too often at this track for whatever the reason. I don't know why. So, I'm expecting yellows, but definitely not like a, a flood of them. Now, the AI settings are basically the same as normal. The only thing I changed was the tire effect to less effect. So, this will kind of balance the field out. So, like, on a long run, I won't just pull away because there was a point where. I would get to like a 20 second lead in like a fuel run and that's just not fun so this should balance it out a little bit so yeah that's the only uh, thing we're doing with the settings but yeah so that's and the other reason why I started this 1130 is because the race starts at 3 so it's actually a half hour earlier than what it's been weeks before so that's why we're starting it a little bit early so so I can get it done in time and I can go get, get food after the fact and kind of survive so We'll save those settings, even though we didn't change anything, but I just want to show you what it's like and all that stuff. Nine more large lakes and we get to 30. Uh, yeah! And then after that, we will be like 60% of the way there to getting to uh, 50, and then if, you know, when we do that, we'll do like a live review of the Kurt Busch Race with Atlanta car, because I pre-ordered <laughs> pre that car a year ago, and things have changed so much in the last year for me that I kind of regret it, but then at the same time it's such a nice car i don't know it's, i don't know but th that, that that that's our stream goal i don't know why i'm doing that today but why not uh hello Balik here thanks for stopping by hello land moody i'm gonna pretend it's robbie gore and not burden <laughs> yeah fatalities ooh -woo. jc you can't say that that's that's horrible you can't ooh -woo a fatality Oh my God, JC is on the on the on the the edge today. Yeah, let's jump into it. We're gonna be starting last, so yeah. New Hampshire is so much easier in Heat Five and Four. That's weird, um, only because Heat Four and Five there's not really a difference. I think the only thing that's different is really the gearing. Uh, heat Five you can't change fourth gear. Heat Four you can no idea why but that's like one of the random changes but yeah but i don't know what it is i've said this before um in multiple like videos and streams i probably but i hate racing here but i'm good it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense video game land it's like it's awesome to drive i hate it though at the same time it doesn't make any sense but I don't know. I'm just hoping the cup race is going to be good. I don't have high hopes because it seems like the, this package isn't good at flat tracks. But I don't know. But Xfinity race was amazing. We'll talk about that when we get into a boring segment in the race. So, yeah. We're just going to start last and work our way up through the field. And it's, you know, it, fun fact, Josh, it took uh, Josh Berry like 110 laps to get up to the front. And he started last, so... Can we do the same? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. I'm going to take a drink, and we'll see who's starting up front. I just click, I just click qualify. <laughs> god damn it. Oh, god damn it. And, uh, okay, 39. So one car went to the back. It's funny it was a wreck fest. It was more of a wreck fest than Atlanta, and that didn't make any sense. But at least the actual racing was pretty good. Like, despite all the wrecks, there was great racing in there. And, yeah. I think it definitely w stayed its welcome. I think it needs to stay. I like how Jeff Bird looks like Eric <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything too crazy on it because... I mean, at least he's white. They got that right. 
They got Biffle wrong when we went to Road America. At, at the bare minimum, he's white. Which is accurate because Jeff Burton is white. So we got we got some kind of understanding of what he's supposed to be like. Wait, so if it's so great, great in the game, great IRL, the money. <laughs> it's just such a slog to drive. It's just the corners are so wide, it's so sweepy, and it just it just feels like a long race for me when I'm like driving. But at the same time, I guess I'm good at it. I don't. It's weird. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, let's jump into it. Kevin Harvick's on pole. Okay, that's funny. Chase Elliott's cold! Yes! <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Chase is a snowflake today! <laughs> And my, uh, Eric Jones says, well, that's, um, uh, maybe he'll be fast, I don't know, but. All right, be smart out there. Going green. Have a good day. Here we go, 301 laps, stage one's underway. And we're gonna do our damnest to make sure we can gain as much spots as we possibly can here on the opening laps, so. Stage one, 75 laps. Still there. And... That basically means we don't need a pit in stage one. Stage two is weirdly longer by like 30 laps. Don't know why that's like that. But it probably was like that in real life too, so I don't know. But We're off the bat. We're gaining some spots. I do like to be on the outside lane and kind of make up you know, spots, but can't really do that quite yet. Make sure your controller doesn't die or turn off. Well, so far the controller... Is vibrating it's doing Still controller there. things so if it was low on battery it would not be vibrating anymore and then then uh, and then I will realize that hey it's gonna die soon and we'll swap out batteries but we're we're gonna try to make it realistic like as if we're doing like a, a real-life battery change even though I don't know if that's even a thing they do anymore <laughs> but yeah if it comes to that we'll do we'll change our batteries live in the race probably during like a stage break or something if we can and if we can't do it in time then we're just gonna add and pay the wall and then do it that way so we're gonna be racing on the edge of uncertainty but i think we should be fine well chase is a snowflake jc it, uh he said it said that he's uh not performing well you'll see the snowflake when we catch up to him That's why I was so ecstatic. They left. It's, it's just crazy to think that this game, they're, uh, the modders are working on like a Gen 7 car. It's like they, they made bodies for them. Like That's pretty Looking sweet. I can't wait to see that come out. And I hope outside they have like all the paint schemes that they ran in real life at certain tracks. Because they did that for 2021 with this, and that's you know pretty cool. So, hopefully they do that again. Again, they're they're making they're keeping this game alive because NASCAR 21 is a complete joke. And I saw Mertz's stream on Heat Five, and or, I saw Mertz's stream of uh, NASCAR 21, and it, it they made the online they actually made it worse. I was streaming at the time when when he was doing it, and I came in, I asked the question, and they broke it. They made it worse. They they made it where you can't... People can't join, like, your lobby. And that's awful. And then the brakes are more broken. And on every, like, start, would all, it would always put him in the back. And he would never contend for a win. Half the field would stop. The other half would keep going. It was just... It's pathetic. It is absolutely pathetic. I mean, that's like Heat Five isn't great with the online. It has a lot of the the weird like net coding and like things are different on people's screens. But at least at least it functions. So it's just you know, sad state of affairs. So I'm glad that they're keeping this alive with uh, with the modding community because really that's this is the true Heat Five. NASCAR this game is the true NASCAR 21. I guess that's all I was trying to say. As you see, JC ch uh, chases a snowflake, and that's kind of hilarious. 
Day 500 would be Hell loving yeah. this right now. <laughs> he would be so ecstatic. It would be perfect. I know how he thinks. We're doing good so far. We're kind of just cutting through the field, but the top half of the field aren't going to be too competitive versus when we get up to the top 10, so I'm not completely surprised by this. I know Heat's uh, 6 won't release, but they're making a Switch version of, like, the Heat game, and they're actually implementing the Gen 7 car along with Nashville, so that'll probably be way miles better than 21, so... You know, I'm looking forward to that, but I don't have a Switch anymore. I sold it. I had it back in 2018, I think. That was a great lap. So, I don't know. It's just I, I don't really feel like forking out hundreds of dollars to buy a Switch to play that. Like, it's just not realistically viable, so I can, I'm not really going to do that. But I think I can confidently say if it's Monster Games making it, then yeah, it's going to at least function and work on a fundamental level, which... Slow down. Yeah, it's sad that we're at that point. Yeah, they're work they're working on that. I don't know what the progress is on that. I, um, I have not heard back from High TV in like over a month. So... I have no idea, like, what's going on with him, if he's okay, or, or what the other modders are doing with the... I, I don't know what the progress is, but I'm hoping they get it done by before the end of the season. But either way, I'm still... Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, this, this season would be the hardest for them to work on stuff, just because, you know, they're making the bodies, they're going to be at... It, and then they're going to have to be doing... Probably improving the driver stats so it's more accurate to 2021 or 2022 season. Still there. And other stuff. And yeah, they they have a lot of stuff on their on their hands to make the game, you know, to, to, a lot of extra stuff to mod. Then when we get to like 2023, then it'll be a lot easier because they'll already have the bodies already made and just have to kind of you know reskin stuff. And probably like the AI like updating. Like their Still like there. performance and stuff, but either way, I think that's yeah. So it's just yeah, I have to think about it in that perspective too. It's like this season, they have a lot more stuff to kind of do. So yeah, I, I understand why it would take a long time because I can't imagine that stuff being easy. Careful. Still there. Kurt, you're Kurt in the gear wrench scheme. I mean, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> I love that car. Seven more likes to get to 40. Hell, oh my god, that's awesome. Hell yeah, let's get to that. And it'll be 10 away, because remember, people just tuned in. If we get to 50, we'll do a live uh, after the stream. After the stream. Or after, uh, at, <laughs> after the race, I'll do a live uh, review of the Kirk Wish car that I, uh, from his race win at Atlanta. And we'll kind of, you know, get out, go on full screen for it, and we'll kind of look at it together and discuss it. So, if we get to that point, which I mean, we're almost there already, so it might be possible. Then uh, I'll do that. It'll be a fun stream goal. I'm planning on emulating NASCAR 22. Well, I, I guess good luck. I don't really know how that all, how that's all gonna work. Because I heard that it's possible to mod it, but they just don't want it. Like, it is possible to mod it, but nobody <laughs> wants to do it, and I don't blame them. So, I don't know. Maybe pos uh, There's also a chance people can import the carbides from the Switch game into the Heat Pilot. Um, I, I would say maybe, but I feel like... You know, you, you take the graphics from a Switch game and didn't try to put on PC. I feel like there's going to be a lot of resolution issues. Unless they can just get the skeleton of the body. Like, I don't I don't know. But it would be nice to... It'd be a nice thought. So we're 18 laps into this race. We're up to 10th. We're in stage point territory. Harvick's still leading. And we're slowly closing in. Like, we're not quite there. 
but I think we're gaining a little bit of lap in uh, yeah, my best lap is a 28.8. My best ever was a 28.5. That was in practice yesterday. Uh, doing like a mock race off camera. I got that near the end of the race too. Because it was like a late race yellow with like 30 to go. And I don't know how I did it. I wish I can like say that I knew how I did it, but I don't. Yeah, as far as the slider, I have the thing all the way. Yeah, as far as the sliders, I mean, as far as, like, yeah, the sliders for the tra like, this track, I have it all the way up to 9. It's on the loosest setting possible. It's still kind of tight. It gets looser as the run goes on, but it's definitely a lot more manageable. This has been kind of this, it's just how these heat games are. They just, the cars are, are always just extremely tight. So you really have to make them, ex you know, extremely loose, and you know, with the slider you can do that, and now it's you know drivable. Just a little bit looser on the long runs, but definitely nothing undrivable, at least for me, at least. And it's just so nice to play a game where the frames don't dip and stop like freaking on the Xbox. That bugs the shit out of me. Forget about the biases, the tracks the modders need. The, again, that's another question mark, is would the tracks on the Switch be ported into a PC and that would work? Like, is that even possible? I don't know. Because it'll be really janky if you're able to do it, but the graphics don't look right, and it just doesn't visually mesh with everything else. I just don't know. Maybe the, maybe the like, upscaling can help. But I'm not really sure. I, I'm no technician. I'm no electrician either, so I don't know how that all would work, but it's just nice. Yeah, best lap of the of the race so far. So we're six point one back. And yeah, we're closing. We're definitely not just blitzing through the field. If we get to forty legs, Red Bulls. <laughs> Irishman, you've been asking me to do that for over a year. Well over, like, two, maybe two years. So, but we're, like, almost there to 40, so, like, that's almost, like, a guarantee. There's no challenge. There's no journey to getting to that. Maybe that would be like a really good stream idea if I can get the em like an emulator for the for NASCAR 5. I don't know if it's on the PC XS2. That's the only thing I don't know if it's if it's if uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. But if it is, then maybe we'll do like a 100% race of the Red Bull or something in the Cup Series and use that janky ass setup. <laughs> maybe that'll be a good stream idea. Maybe I'll do that when the NASCAR Thunder. Uh, like Thursday stuff ends. So that'd be a good throwback stream to do. Like a retro game would be like that. Fine then, 51 likes. You know what? That's not that bad. I think that's manageable. I don't I can't guarantee when it'll happen. But I definitely say it will happen when the Thunder of War stuff ends. Like with the my uh Thursday stream career mode thing. I don't know how long that would take though. I ha I, I have not crunched the numbers yet. Yeah, the screen, I don't think I've experienced screen tearing, it's just, it's more just the frame stoppage. Like, just, I don't know why it does that in this game. Or, well, it doesn't do it on PC, but, like, on consoles it does. It's so weird, because every other game runs fine. It's just Heat 5. It's like this on the PS4 too, so I don't know what the deal is. It does not make any sense to me. <laughs> Like, you would think, oh, it's like, okay, it's on, it's just an Xbox thing, it's like, that's just how it is. For me, it's like, okay, we can, ex we can try to, like, rationalize that, but how does it happen on the, on the PS4? How does it happen on there, too? What if, do you like NASCAR? Um, some days I like it, other days it angers me, but if I didn't like it, I wouldn't be really streaming this. I wouldn't be playing it. 
Um, I wouldn't be doing race reviews if I didn't like it to some extent. So, yeah. Also, lap traffic has killed the field. Because now... Larson has... Yeah, they are just getting destroyed by lap traffic. So, we'll see what we can do. We're just going to stay up high. I don't think I've made contact with a single car, which is honestly kind of amazing, because usually I make some kind of tactical error. Probably have it on the Switch, too. I would not know. I'm, I don't have it, so I, don't, I, I can't say. JC could probably say. Because he plays that, so he would have an idea. can't believe lap traffic is has destroyed the pace of this race so badly. I gained so many seconds. Like, this is just... It's on narrow. Like, the, the skills, like, spreads to narrow. So, like, it's as competitive as the back markers can possibly be. That's why I said it to narrow, because it does make everything a little more harder. And that means, like, the leaders... It takes longer for them to catch lap traffic, but... Clearly, they're still doing stuff. Oh, that's Larson for a lead. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Three wide for a lead. What is this? <laughs> what a mess. I, I have nowhere to go, so we're just going to let off the throttle here. Take it easy. We're just going to make the pass up on the high side because Cody Ware doesn't know where he wants to be. And Harvick's right there. Timmy Hill. Move. All right. That was kind of hectic. But we're in the late race lead. We're not lace lead. I almost said lace read. What the f that's a good fantasy driver name. I don't know if we're going to lead the lap. Uh, no, okay. Well, at least everything thinned out finally. Pack race again at New Hampshire. Who installed the plates? <laughs> well, they did that in 2000, and clearly it did not do uh, plate racing things there. It made it arguably one of the worst races ever. Now, now, now we're starting to see what the AI are capable of. Because now they're actually, you know, being a little more competitive and sporty and and fast and stuff. Is there any bit realistic you run the high lane? I mean, I'm kind of doing that now. I'm kind of in the third. I can, well, you could use the third lane or the second groove and it can, you know, kind of work. The track's really good when you can dime in the corner. That's what I've learned. Oh my god. Day 500, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the stream. I, How dare you dislike the stream? I'm going to dislike your freaking Twitch stream. I Even though I can't do it, but I'll find a way. I'll find a way to dislike your Twitch race reaction stream. Technically, if I really wanted to try hard it... I probably could lead almost every lap. I did start last, but I did some practice stuff off camera, and I can, I qualified like second. So I could probably get the lead and lead probably all of stage one. I, I don't know if I can lead every lap, but I could get in like probably the 290s if I had to like guess. Also, this is one hell of a battle for lead. I can't really get there to harbor. I can't believe the likes are going up so much. I appreciate that though. I'm, I, that just that means you're invested in in the idea of me getting to review that Kurt scheme, Kurt car that I have, the the K car. I don't. Know. I was gonna, I don't know what I was, I was trying to have some kind of acronym, but it doesn't really work really well. Like a way to ensure what if suffer. I mean experience. Irishman, you and that freaking setup have such a relationship. I don't know. But I am a man of my word. I will do that someday. I can't say when, but I'll definitely do it someday. Oh, 
Yeah, Burton was the last person. Well, technically. Technically. In the Cup Series, yes. He is the last person to lead every, every lap. But, in the Truck Series, in like 2011 at Bristol, Timothy Peters led every lap. I remember that race. Still there. So, yeah. There's your fun fact of the day. Look at that. I won up I won up day 500 in his, in his knowledge. That's that doesn't always happen, so I'm proud of myself. I would pat myself on the back, but I'm kind of in a heated struggle between baby wipes and Harvick and singular wireless. That's kind of a weird combination. That's my first contact of the race. Reamer likes who's gonna be Track you're It's really it's starting to become a pain trying to get around Harvick now. I'm, I'm it was cute, it was fun, but now I'm getting annoyed. Right, you're clear. Kyle, ah, da damn it, he got, he won up to me after I won up him, no. Day 500 works. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you won up to me. Kyle did it at Phoenix in 2011 in the Xfinity Series. I had no idea about that. I'm upset. I thought I had him on the ropes, but I just got the lead too. Why does this always happen when I when I don't focus? Actually, there's one story with that, so. Um, on, on my phone, because sometimes, you know, late at night when you just can't, like, when I can't sleep, I'll just be like, alright, I'm just going to play some, like a game on my phone. First thing I go to is, uh, it's Billiards. I don't know what the name of the, of, of the game is, but it's like Billiards, and it's a really good mobile game. And I'm not usually, like, a mobile player, but, like, it's really good. Like, the ball physics? Very ball-y. And, you know, they... They make sense, like when they you know, hit the, the the corners and they bounce. It's just like it's like makes sense. It's realistic. It, it just you know, and the, how the balls react to each other. It's, it makes sense. So it's fun. So, but yeah, when I play that, there's like there's like times where I play it. And I'm just like, all right, my brain's off. I'm just gonna just not even think about it, and just just be like, just I'm just send it. Just send the balls. And sometimes it works out really well, and other times it doesn't. It's like when I don't try, or when I don't think about it, I do better. But then when I do, I, I do worse. And it makes no sense. And I don't understand it. That's kind of like how it is when I play Heat 5. My brain goes somewhere else, I go on a tangent... And then all of a sudden, I'm passing like 25 cars, and I don't even notice it. So, I don't understand how any of that works. We pulled away from Brad. Well, definitely Brad Kozlowski, that's for sure. But Well, the game's currently thinking Harvick's going to win, which is not what I would think would happen. I mean, Kurt qualified third, or fourth, I'm not sure. But usually, if he qualifies well, he generally does good in the race. So I have high hopes that he can maybe pull something. So, I don't know. I like to think he'll he'll do good. Atlanta bugged me last week just seeing him get in an accident that he had no business of because Chase wanted to be stupid. So, that 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 is salty. The fanboy in me is salty in that element. You've hit 50. Well, god damn it. No. No. Stop. <laughs> That's pretty fucking awesome, Chad. I appreciate that. Can you make it to the end uh, on the end of the stage? Yes, I can. We got 38 laps on uh, fuel, 27 to go. So we're fine on fuel. Stage 2 is really going to be the only part we're going to have to make a green flag stop because that stage is like 107 laps or 105 and then our fuel only goes to 85. So yeah. 
Eric did shock last year, so it makes sense for him. That is a fair point. That race was weird. That race was really weird. It was good, but it was weird. Eric Almarola had the most random good, like, last 50 laps ever. And then Chris Christopher Bell was just there. Like, it was actually... Had the rain not end, or race not end for darkness, like, I was curious to see how the next eight laps would have went. It was a weird... It was a weird... It was just a weird race. Bad luck on NASCAR's part for making them race in the rain when everyone was saying it was raining and should not be going, so... That was kind of a... That was kind of a big oopsie doodles on them, but... Kurt pulling, what, a monster out of nowhere? I think it's in a mix of, like, a monster car and some other sponsor, so... It's nice looking. The black and blue is... It's a good combination. Why is my chat not working now? I see that. It doesn't make any sense. Why are you two being big stupid now? Well, I guess I'll just talk to myself then, which I, I, I was doing before. <laughs> but yeah. I just hope it's a good race. I just, I don't know, I just got a bad feeling about it because it just, you know, Martinsville didn't go very well. Now it's kind of a flat track. This is sort of the same thing, just bigger and wider, so I don't know. I just hope they don't get rid of the tracks. I do think it's unique enough to at least have a race on the schedule, so I, I don't want it to go away. Did we really get 51? Irishman's gonna now, he's gonna go freaking bananas now. <laughs> Where's my my menu? <laughs> Where's my menu? <laughs> what the hell? All right, let's let's open this up in web browser and see. I don't know. I don't know if like my stream label, like the Streamlabs chat, doesn't work. That's really weird. I've never seen that happen.